Hmm. What would you call that exactly? I don't know. There's a few there's a few things that come to mind when I think of the Floyd Mayweather Manny Pacquiao fight last night. A uh, pillow fight? Uh I don't know. Slumber party, uh two bros hugging it out. You know, there's a whole bunch of things you could call that fight. Now, I obviously watched the fight on pay-per-view, uh, and I'm sure most people did as well. Millions and millions of people were watching that fight. It was anticipated for years. Oh, maybe about, I think it was five years in the making this fight was. It was supposed to be the fight of the century, and it was going to be the best fight ever. It wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't. So, let me just, let me explain this. Let me give you my thoughts on the fight. Let me give you my thoughts on what could have been done to make it better in a way and you know just let me give you my thoughts on boxing as a whole and what what's become etc okay now I come from a family well, not so much a family but my dad is a huge boxing fan and uh you know whenever I'd be you know whenever he'd be at home there'd usually be a boxing match uh going on if like obviously if there was one scheduled so I would often watch the fights with him so I've grown up kind of knowing boxing. I've, I've kind of appreciated the sport, uh, you know, as it was. I've seen some, you know, because my dad would also have the ESPN classics where it would have the classic fights like the Rumble in the Jungle with George Foreman and Muhammad Ali. You know, really crazy, like old school fights, new fights, fresh fighters. Like I've seen tons of boxing matches with my dad. So when I heard of this fight, like, okay, Floyd Mayweather's been in the game. I think he said for about, well... A long time, about 18, 19 years. He's been champion for 18 of those years. And, you know, he earned his way to the top. And, you know, I got to let him have that one. He did. He, uh, he, he was a crazy, he was talented from a young age. Um, and he's earned his way to, to where he is now. But, you know, I just have a huge problem with him. It's not the fact that he's talented. It's not that. It's not that he's got money. It's his respect. It's his disrespect, rather. His disrespect for the sport. He said it, and at least he's being honest, it's been about the money. You know what I mean? It's always been about the money. He's one of the highest paid athletes in the world. And you can obviously see that. You can just see that. If you go to his Instagram page, you'll see what I mean. He spends money frivolously without a care in the world. Obviously, it's his, it's his, it's his money. It's his choice. I'm not saying that it's, he can't do what he wants to do. I'm just saying, as a fighter, have respect for the, for the sport itself. I mean, I went into the fight last night, like, anticipating it very highly. I'm like, you have two great fighters. Manny Pacquiao, insanely talented fighter. He's so fast. He's a very entertaining fighter to watch. And Floyd Mayweather, cocky, but he can back it up. He has skills. But there is a problem with, with Mayweather. Like, I mean, I don't like how he fights that much. You know what I mean? There's never an intention to knock out a guy. Now, if any, if you got, for those of you who watch, you know what I mean. It was a giant hug party for Floyd Mayweather. It's like he hadn't seen him in years, you know, Manny Pacquiao, and he was his best bro, and you know they just had to hug it out. And there, there were so many memes online uh, making fun of that, and I'm sure a lot of people were like, "What the hell are you doing?" And any sort of fan reaction, and the fans were, um, I'd say, about 90% behind Manny Pacquiao over uh, Mayweather. And every single time Pacquiao would attempt to make a move, Floyd would either run away or he'd, gr he'd clinch him or put him in a headlock, you know, basically just bro hugs for the entire fight. And I just don't get it. And, and the thing is, Manny would be doing things like feigning. He'd be feigning him and uh, Mayweather would be way far like he wouldn't even be up close not, and he'd be dodging shit, leaning, ducking and scooting back when there's like... Two meters in, in between the two. And, and you could tell round after round, because it went the full 12 rounds, unanimous decision, uh, Floyd Mayweather. Um, you can tell round after round, Manny Pacquiao, he's, I feel like he's such a good guy. You know, he's the kind of guy that he, feel, he felt, you could tell he felt privileged and honored to be able to fight Mayweather at such a large venue and grant him that permission. Or sorry, grant him the ability to fight him uh, and, and give the fans what they've been wanting to see for years. And I feel like Manny has tried to at least make 
the fight entertaining. That's what he tried to do. But I think Mayweather, the whole time, just wanted to continue his streak um, and, and make a big check. And he even said that. He's like, the whole purpose of this, I purposely hyped this up to get my nine figures. So he made close to $200 million on that fight. And I believe the in the contract, the way it was meant to be was uh, Pacquiao would get one-third of the earnings and uh, Mayweather would get two-thirds of the earnings. So Pacquiao still made about $100 million, whereas uh, uh, Mayweather made about 200 But the only reason, and I'm saying the only reason this fight even took place in the first place was because of Floyd Mayweather. No, that that's true. There would never have been a Pacquiao-Mayweather fight if Mayweather didn't do the way he did it he wouldn't have agreed to it he wouldn't have signed the contract to uh, allow this fight to take place and that's when I knew because it was under the Mayweather promotions brand that this fight was well I was hoping for the best I mean I, I kind of knew it would happen but I was hoping that at least Mayweather would put up a fight instead of running around uh, fighting scared the whole 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 damn match. That's what he did. And the only time he actually really pounced, so to speak, was when he kind of knew in the last the championship rounds, in the last two rounds, um, where he kind of attacked a little bit more. But on the most part, he was running away, like running away, clinching every chance he got. Uh, I, I mean, I thought it was just ridiculous, man. And I, I was not impressed considering how, like it was a hundred dollar pay per view, at least where I live in Canada. It was a hundred dollars, and you watched. You know, uh, you watched a puppet show, in a manner of speaking, a little pillow fight. And I don't know why Mayweather wants to alienate the entire boxing universe. Why does he feel like he can do whatever the hell he wants and think that, it, like, he literally is 100% money first. Fans don't even come second. You know what I mean? He says he does it for the fans and he claims to be the greatest boxer ever. I, I disagree. I highly disagree. There's way better fighters than uh, Mayweather. While he's got skill and everything, and he's kind of he's fought he's fought hard his entire life, I just don't feel like he's the kind of guy who would, you know, fight to win. He fights for money 100%, which is why he runs away a lot and why, you know, he he didn't really he he fights to get the point each round. He just fights to get the point. Whereas good other good boxers will fight to get the KO. And if they're dominating, where Mayweather technically was dominating, I don't want to say that though, but I feel like he could have done a lot better. If he won the way he won, I think it was a, what was it? Uh, oh God, I think Man, uh, Manny had eight, no. What was the difference? I think it was eight, eight to four. No, not that much. I can't remember what the round differential was, but um, uh, Mayweather had won most of the rounds. And it seemed like when you're winning the most of the rounds, you'd want to try and finish your opponent off. Make it interesting. Like when you're dominating, you don't really have as much to lose. So you might want to try and finish the opponent off and call it a night. But there were no real moments like that. I mean, at the beginning of the fight, uh, Manny kind of exploded a few times and he tried his best to take out, uh, take out Mayweather, you know, as, like as best he could, but Mayweather just wasn't having it. And when I, when I'm paying a hundred dollars for a pay per view, when this has been hyped up for years, when when you know, when you know that the that as a promoter, this is going to be one of the biggest fights of the year or the century, as they called it, you've got to make a show for us. And you could tell that Pacquiao was frustrated, even at the end. He's like, I thought I won the fight. And when he was asked, you know, in the interview, and the guy who was interviewing was, was being a bit of a dick, and I was just like, really, buddy? What fight were you watching? Like, I don't feel like Mayweather earned that fight. Sure, he won it, but he didn't do anything to earn it. You know what I mean? He just kind of took less hits, I guess you could say. And because he was running the whole time. If, if Mayweather fought like Pacquiao did, this would have been a much closer match, and it would have been a much more exciting match on top of that. But... It's all about the dollars, right? And that's that's all it's ever been about for Mayweather. And like I remember, what, I remember seeing they, they ran a little promo prior, and he was asked kind of what does boxing mean to him? Why does he fight? And his first two answers were he fights for himself and he fights for money. And then you could kind of tell that he was thinking of what else should I say to make me not look like a douche? Um, you know, I would have preferred if he just said I fight for myself and money. That's it. Um, and he also said he fights for fans. He fights for the sport. He fights for legacy. 
I get kind of the legacy thing to keep your streak alive, keep a name for yourself in the boxing universe. But right now, when people like, let's say he he said he's probably going to retire at 49. When he, uh, you know, he's at 48 wins. He's he's fighting in September. He said. So he said if he, you know, he's at 49, he's done. That's what he had said at at the post fight interviews. And the thing is. You're, say you retire, you stop fighting at 49 wins, no losses. Yes, you're undefeated. Yes, you have that. But how are you remembered in the public? People think you were this, a, a, you know, a complete douche, selfish, um, you know, not a clean fighter. Just, just constantly. Well, not sorry, I shouldn't say not clean, but like, just like bare bones fighter, not trying to actually fight for the sport. And, and just fight for themselves. And you don't, you're don't you going to be remembered that way. When people think of Floyd Money Mayweather, hell, you call yourself Money Mayweather. Um, they're going to think he's just some selfish guy who just wants to earn a buck from, from a sport that has legends. That, that, has been, that has just been basically destroyed by a person like him who just shows the sport no respect. And for those people who are like, okay, let's just look at this. Everyone was watching this fight. Everybody. Whether you were a boxing fan or not, you were watching this fight. And let's be honest, the people who don't watch boxing are like, wow, what the hell was that? This is what people tune in for? Like, I mean, that's going to turn people off from the sport of boxing, which is stupid. I mean, it seems to be an MMA run world now. You know what I mean? Like now that people, you know, boxing has become what it's become. I mean, I, don't get me wrong. There's tons of uh, great fighters out there now that don't ruin the name or the sport. But you have, you have Mayweather, who's like at the top of the chain right now. And it's, 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 I just don't see how anyone could really like boxing. Or if, if you come in to the sport, like you're not, you're, you know, you're like, oh, this is going to be a great fight. It's been hyped. I'm going to go check it out. Maybe I'll start watching boxing. You're not going to want to do that after what you saw. You know, after spending $100 on a pay-per-view, um, you're going to be like, fuck that. I'm, I'm done with, I'm not, I'm not going to bother. I don't know why, why people said I missed it. I wasn't missing anything. You know what I mean? So I don't know, man. I thought, I thought there could have been so much more done with this fight. I'm really upset at, over the fact that it just was the way it was. I was praying to God, my buddy and I, we were just like praying to God. We were like, come on, the gods, Manny, listen to Manny. Give Manny the power to knock him on his ass. And we knew as the round started, you know, as the match started ending, the last few rounds, I'm like, man, you got to go. You got to do something. But he felt like he was winning because Buddy was running away the whole time. That's why he didn't do that. He, he probably would have attacked more if Mayweather didn't run some, or if he knew that, May, if he, if he, that he was losing. So I feel like there should have been something uh, that, in, that should affect the judge's decisions in terms of running away and clinching too many times, you know what I mean? Like, put your hands up and block. Because whenever Manny would get him against the ropes, Mayweather's got his hands up, you know, he's blocking. and But Manny's just working the body, working the body. He tried Brock Lowe, working the head, working the chest. But then that would be it, you know what I mean? That He'd be done. And if, and if he didn't run away and he got stuck like that, Manny would have won the fight easily. And I just don't think it were possible for, for I could tell right from the get go. I didn't I didn't think it was possible for Manny to to knock Mayweather out just because he kept run kept sorry kept running away and he kept hugging him and it was just it was ridiculous and it was pretty pretty pathetic you know I I mean I was a little annoyed um, all that hype I mean there were a couple matches prior to that that were actually not too bad to watch uh, but as for the main event overhyped. And I'm really disappointed that we had to put up with that, you know, considering how much was made. And you even heard uh, Mayweather t uh, say to Pacquiao at the end of the fight, he's like, at least we made money. Well, Pacquiao isn't all about money. Like, from what I understand, he's a congressman in the Philippines, and he donates a good chunk of his earnings to his home country. And whereas Mayweather buys, bought 200 cars last week, something ridiculous like that. He bought a buttload of cars. And I don't know. I mean, like I said, teach their own. I, I'm not in any position to tell anybody what to do with their money. It's their money. They've earned it. It is what it is. But don't do that. You know, like I don't. I like. I, obviously, I'm sure a lot of you see where I'm getting, where I'm coming from with this. Just, just come on. Don't be that guy. Okay. Don't be that guy that everyone just hates. Be a legend. Be a Muhammad Ali. Be a George Foreman. Be a Joe Frazier. You know. Be an Evander Holyfield. Guys that fought and fought to get where they are. And then they weren't, they, they, the money was a nice bonus. But that was second 
to, to, to being the best fighter ever. And that's what a lot of those guys used to fuel. And Mayweather, yeah, he says he wants to be the best fighter. But from what I saw, he was not the best fighter. He's the best one at avoiding a punch from running back and forth. Juking and ducking and leaning, hands up. Man, he's halfway across the ring. He's ducking and he's leaning and he's... Whoa! Oh! Oh, come here! Big hugs! Hug me! You know? <laughs> I'm sorry, I get carried away. I was just... It, it's, not, it's not what we wanted to see. Let's just put it that way. And I'm sure every, a lot of people are in agreement with me. But I'm curious... What did you guys think of the fight? For those of you who watched it, um, do you agree with me? Do you think it was BS? Do you think that Manny should have won? I personally think he should have been the victor. He's more honorable and he brings more, uh, what's the word? He brings more, uh, well, yeah, he brings more honor and respect to the sport of boxing. And I feel like he should be the one holding the, those, those titles high. But, you know, it is what it is. Sorry, guys. Excuse me here. Um... But like I said, I want to hear your thoughts. Team Mayweather, hell, even Team Mayweather has to say that Mayweather fought like a pussy. Like, you got to admit, all he did was run around and give bear hugs all day. Like, that's not the kind of fight I want to see. I want to see some people knock bitches out. I want to see flurries. I want to see rights, lefts. You know, come on, good boxing, clean boxing. Not running away, bouncing off the ropes, not like hugging people. You know, like, just gets ridiculous. So, guys, let me know down in the comments what you thought of this fight, uh, what you thought of the video as well. I'd love to hear your opinions on this matter. I felt like money was wasted and that that fight should be redone <laughs> properly in a decent manner. And maybe for there should be penalties now for hugging and, and you know, headlocking. Because there were some headlocks, too. He, he put him in a few headlocks. Man, he just smiles. He smiles and he's like, eh. If he wants to fight that way, I'll fight fair and square. Whatever. So, I don't know. That's what it is. So, I just figure I'd give you my opinions. This has kind of annoyed me, you know, just seeing, having watched boxing a lot as a kid. You know, I, I just kind of know what's out there. And I know there's so much better than this. And this is what's being watched by millions of people. It's not fair. You know what I mean? So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit the like button if you did. Favorite it as well. And, uh, yeah, of course, let me know what your thoughts are on this fight on boxing as a whole, anything you want to add or, or, or you have a challenging theory to mine, feel free to hit me up in the comments. I'd love to see a debate on this bad boy, see what you guys think about it. So thanks again for watching, guys. I hope you have a fantastic day. I probably won't be watching the next fight for Mayweather because I'd, if I wanted to go see a tickle fight, you know what I mean. If you want a tickle fight, go to, go to the children, and then that, that's what will broadcast to millions of people. <laughs> okay? All right. Anyways, thanks again, guys. Take it easy, have a great day, and I'll see you soon in the next video.